Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, today also, uh, we share the story of tabernacle. Uh, I told you through tabernacle, we can consider uh, Jesus Christ deeply. Because the tabernacle is the image of Jesus Christ. So yesterday, uh, I spoke about the fine of a linen. When Israel made that uh, this tabernacle, they made a uh, coat. So yesterday I show you a coat. And do you remember which material used for the coat? A fine of a linen. Do you remember? Yeah. So Israel, they was in the wilderness over 40 years. But God protect Israel, so their clothes uh, were not worn out. Even their sandal were not worn out. So uh, it was quite a good clothes and good sandals. So when they uh, just was a war in the wilderness, they didn't know how much they dirty it. They just uh, thought like they are somehow okay, Some, somehow clean, somehow good. But uh, when they stand before this fine open linen, the coat of uh, tabernacle, they compare like their clothes and the coat. Then the coat very clean. So they discover their clothes were dirty. So we can see, you know, actually we don't know our true image. We don't know how much we are dirty. But when we stand before Jesus Christ, that time we discover we are so dirty and evil. So, while Jesus was in the world, you know, he was totally different with other people. He didn't commit the sin, even one, even one. But now, as you know, Jesus, he entered into a holy place. We say, kingdom of heaven. How he could enter kingdom? He was wholly perfect. Even he didn't commit the sin, one even one. He didn't commit a sin at all. So the Bible say, not with the blood of God and the cups, but his own blood, he entered the most holy place once of all, having obtained eternal redemption. So Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12 say, He entered the most holy place. Is it that true? Yes. yes. He entered most holy place. We can say heaven, kingdom of heaven. So how, how he could enter? He entered because he was holy and the perfect and he was very clean so there, there was no any problem he entered most holy place god accepted him because while he was in the world he didn't commit sin even one so can you compare the jesus and us we see totally different 
we are so dirty. Because while we are here, as we are living in this world, we do commit sin alone. Even we cannot count. So dirty. But Jesus, he didn't commit sin even one. So he could enter most holy place. But people don't know how much we are dirty. So we just think like I'm better than them. I didn't do such a big sin. So just okay. So most of the religious, even many Christians, they just think I'm okay. Because I go to church and I do, you know, serving God and pray God and reading Bible. So most of people just uh, think laughly, it's okay. Because they didn't do such a big sin, so they think, you know, I'm okay. But the Bible say, what? The Bible says through the Matthew chapter 5, verse 20. Through the Matthew chapter 5, verse 20 say, For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will by no means enter the Kingdom of heaven. So why what did the what the scripture say? If your righteous is not better than the scribes or Pharisees, you cannot enter. So do you think is that mean you must uh, you know better than scribes? or Pharisees? Actually, no. Even we cannot reach up to the righteous of the scribes, Pharisees. What this scripture means? Through the people righteous cannot enter kingdom of heaven. No. Even now, the scribes and the Pharisees, you know, they try, try all their effort. They try to reach, you know, righteous and holy, same like God. But even do you think scribes and Pharisees can be same like holiness of God? Impossible. So that's why here scriptures say, if your uh, righteousness is not better than scribes' uh, policies, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it means through our own righteousness, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. So scriptures say the clearly. Actually, God wants to know exactly our human righteousness cannot enter. So, the Bible says, Be holy as I am holy. So, many people try, same like scribes and Pharisees, to be holy like God. So, they are so much jail before God, to be holy like Pharisees and scribes. So all their life, huh? all their life, they try to be holy. From the huh, young ages up to, you know, even up to the God. But, you know, Bible says, if your holiness, righteousness is not better than them, you cannot enter. Can you follow even the scribes and Pharisees? No. Yes, 
if you see this uh, picture, you, know, you can see like uh, some uh, example the people. As you see, people try to reach up to the holiness of God. Maybe number one, number two, number three, number four, all their righteousness difference. So scribes and Pharisees, you know, they really zeal before God to be holy by themselves. But they cannot reach up to the holiness of God. But the Bible says, your righteous huh, is not like uh, is not better than scribes and Pharisees, then you cannot enter heaven. So, you know, through our human works, we cannot reach up to holiness of God. So we must know exactly. We should know exactly, you know, our own righteousness cannot reach up to the holiness of God. But people don't know exactly just how every just thing. If I try, we can be holy like God because they see only their own clothes, each other. Maybe I'm better than other. My clothes you know, clean than other like this. They never stood before you know, the court of Tabernacle. I told you the court uh, material was uh, the fine of a linen. Very clean. So once they stand before you know, that court, they see their clothes so dark. But if they don't see that coat of tabernacle, they think, ah, I'm somehow clean. I am clean than others. Like this. So the Bible say through the Romans, we can see Romans chapter 10, verse 2. <laughs> Here scripture say, For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to according to knowledge. Verse 3, For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and sinking to seeking to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted to the righteousness of God. So what these scriptures, these uh, scriptures means? Now people, they are zeal before God, but it's not according to ignorance. So they ignore of righteousness of so they establish their own righteousness. That righteousness have not submitted to the righteous, righteousness of God. So no matter how we try, our own righteous cannot be same like God. So what the Bible say? You know, people chill before God to find the uh, holiness and righteous, but it's not by true knowledge. They ignore the righteous of God. They are seeing, uh, seeking righteous of their own, so that they ignore God. So. Through the tabernacle, you know, when you know, Israel they stood before this court of tabernacle, they see how much their clothes are dirty. 
Likewise, you know, this court of the tabernacle is the image of Jesus Christ. So those who stand before Jesus, they discover how much they are dirty and evil. I told you yesterday through the story of adultery woman, right? All the people who tried to kill that woman, they didn't know they are dirty. But just when they stood before Jesus, they discovered how much they are dirty. All they left to stone and leave that home. So we cannot discover our true image uh, before we stand uh, Jesus Christ. So when you no know, priest who serve the tabernacle, you know, their clothes actually is just same material, same like the coat of tabernacle. So, as Jesus entered into the most holy place, he was a holy perfect. I told you the coat of tabernacle, the material, the fine open linen. That material, you know, explain how much the Jesus Christ was holy and perfect. So. When the priest enter into the holy place, he must enter same material of the uh, coat of the tabernacle, fine over linen. It means same righteous. Are you getting me? Yes, same righteous, not similar. Same, you understand? Not similar. Righteousness is supposed to be same righteous. Then how your righteousness can be seen? Do you think is it possible you can be same with the righteous of Jesus by your zeal, by your works? Impossible. It is not possible to be same like Jesus. So actually, how we can be same with the same righteous of Jesus, we must throw away my own righteous, my own. Or then as the priest wear this you know, clothes for priest, fine or linen, we must receive righteousness of who? Not by my my own, we must receive this righteous of Jesus Christ. Are you getting me? Yes. So the Bible said in the Romans chapter ten verse four. Oh, oh not twenty. Romans chapter ten verse four. For righteous, uh, for Christ. Is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. Here, Bible say, Jesus is the end of the law for righteousness, isn't it? In the end. So, those who accept Christ, even though they never kept the law well, because Jesus conclude all the law, so Christ is the end of the law. So those who believe Him, they can get same righteous of Jesus Christ, not through their works, through work of Jesus Christ. So even another verse in the book, of the Bible, so many verses say like this. Even 
Romans chapter 3 verse 21 says, But now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and prophets. Even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ to all and on all who believe. For there is no difference. So scriptures say very clearly, like those who believe Christ, you know, they get this righteousness of God. Apart from the law. So not by their works, not, not by their, you know, uh, kept the law. Just through believe Christ, they get the, the true righteousness of God. So as I explained to you, when the priest enter into most holy place, they must wear same material like the coat of tabernacle, fine open linen. I told you that material, you know, explain the image of Jesus Christ. How much he was clean while he was in the world. So there are two ways to be holy and perfect. One, through establish my own righteous and the other one discover we cannot reach the holiness of God so that we receive the holy of Jesus Christ so which one actually we supposed to choose number one or number two number two why? Number one, establish my own righteousness. Actually, it is impossible. Even the scriptures say, if your righteousness is not better than scribes or Pharisees, you cannot enter. Can you follow even scribes or the Pharisees? No. No. Whole of their life, actually, they try to be holy through their works. So they try to keep the law. They follow the way of the, you know, the all the Ten Commandments, all the law in the Bible. Even we cannot follow them. But do you think they didn't break the uh, law? Even uh, one law they broke. But what the Bible say? Jesus, he never broke the law. Even one. He was a perfect holy. That's why the Bible say he entered the most holy place. It means God accept him. He was very clean, very perfect. Same like fine of linen. Very clean. So, who can enter into the most holy place, same like Jesus, the one who wear same material, the coat of Haman. That's why priest, he used the same material, the clothes, fine of a linen, not by his own clothes. No, clothes explain righteousness. No, there was a party when the king or uh, king of the country, his son wedding. So at that time, people were invited, but people refused. So what the king say? Invite anyone just on the road, bring all. Then some came to that party. Then king saw. The people, they are close. There was 
someone who didn't wear wedding clothes. Actually, the king prepared everything, no? even the wedding clothes. But there was a someone who wear their own clothes. The king was very angry. And no? what the Bible say, like send like a fire like this. You understand? Which clothes was that? Do you think that clothes was very dirty clothes? No. Why they refuse to wear the wedding which are prepared by king? Because they think their clothes somehow good and clean. But even though it was very clean or good, it cannot be same like clothes of God. It cannot be same clothes like Jesus. It cannot be same righteous. So who can enter into you know holy place? The people who have same righteous. Be holy as I am holy. Who can enter into heaven? Only the one who are fully perfect, isn't it? Then who can enter through our own righteous? No one, isn't it? So as I explained the wedding, you know, the story, the people who wear their own clothes, they cannot enter into you know, holy places. They must remove their own clothes and wear the clothes which he king prepared for them. So God already prepared for us all the righteousness, same like Jesus Christ, through accepting the Christ. Amen. So those who think they are good, they all ignore the righteous of Jesus Christ which God prepared for us. Not only righteous, even our life. God already prepared for us for you know, good life for us, but who refuse that way, that life? The people who think, my own life, my own way is better. You know, they refuse the way of God and all things which God prepared for us. So through this story, I wish you discover like we can enter most holy place through my own righteousness. It through by through the holiness of the Jesus Christ. Through accepting Christ, we can enter into the heaven. So today, I stop.